Hey, how's it going? I'm Fleet here at the Wizards Wagon at the Delmar Loop. And, uh, you know, let's talk about some, some comics. We haven't seen you in a while, but, uh, you see me now. So, first up from DC, we got Justice League Infinity number one. This is a continuation of the DC animated universe from the 90s and the two early 2000s, or the mid 2000s. So, this continues after Justice League Unlimited. So we have uh, so we have the whole group from four. You know, we got Wally West, uh, John Stewart, Martian Manhunter, Superman, Batman, Hot Girl. Uh, yeah, is it Wonder Woman? I guess. Yeah. So we got all of them in here. We got we got the Amazo, uh, the golden Amazo robot running around. We got some stuff from Apocalypse happening. So uh, Granny Goodness and uh, Calibac show up. And there, there's a power vacuum since you know Dark Side's gone. So, yeah, so it's pretty cool. So, so uh, if you were wondering what would happen after after that uh, that cartoon, that's where you go. Buy it because Batman's in there. Well, I don't buy it for him. Uh, <laughs> Batman doesn't need your support, but the other characters. Alright, so <laughs> next up we have um, Skybound X. Now, this is this is kind of crazy. So it's an anthology from Image where you see right here, Rick Grimes 2000 is one of the stories here. Now, if you're not familiar, Rick Grimes is the main character of The Walking Dead. And uh, so this story takes place after the events of The Walking Dead comic book. So you get a little quick recap of The Walking Dead and he wakes up and he's in a hospital bed. And it's, you know, he's missing his hand because you know, he lost his hand in the comic. And he gets this uh, suit. It's kind of violent, so I don't want to show anything off that's too crazy. Yeah, I can't show you anymore. But, uh, but basically the idea is that aliens um, were responsible for the zombie invasion of the Walking Dead. And when a character, this, this isn't really a spoiler, when you when you die in this world, regardless of what it is, if you die if you're killed, or if you die old age, or whatever like that, you show up in this new world where the aliens are making you fight as, uh, as kind of like, like uh, gladiators or whatever. And so, at a certain point, Rick gets his lightsaber, uh, and he's confronted with villains of the, of the show or the, the, or the comic past. But also there are characters that show up who did not die in the comics at all. And if you read the last issue of The Walking Dead, you kind of understand why they would have shown up. But, um, so yeah, so you have that. But then there's also other stuff in here too. So there's a story about Ultra Mega, kind of like this Ultraman story that Image puts out. It's kind of crazy. There's a book for a manifest, or a story for Manifest Destiny. But the biggest thing is that there's this thing for Clementine. She's a character from the Telltale Walking Dead video games. And she's getting her own graphic novel, so this is kind of the start to it. And then once you're done reading that story, you get a little, uh, little preview, like here's the, the cover for the story later on. And then you get some sketches of uh, Somewhere right here, you get some sketches of preliminary sketches of what she'll look like in the, in the series too, which is a little different than how she looks in this this comic here. So that's that's interesting. So if you want to see some cool image stuff that's not in a normal comic, this is the one. This Rick Grimes story will continue through all the issues. All right, from Dark Horse, we got Masters of the Universe Revelation. Uh, this ties into the to the upcoming Netflix show that's coming out. This kind of like the end of the Masters. Of of the universe, the He-Man stuff. So here we get this story where He-Man ends up time traveling to to figure out about this creature who's attacked the king, and he goes and he and he meets uh, King Grayskull. You know, for this power of Grayskull, you actually see him. It's this black thing right here, and uh, and you see the creation of the Power Sword and all this other cool stuff that you just kind of don't get for the lore and the in the cartoon and all that. So. This is pretty cool. It was written by Kevin Smith. Um, a bunch of other people were connected to it. It's a whole bunch of names in the book. But yeah, this ties into the next one. Then we got something positive to talk about. We got the WWE uh, New Day Power of Positivity comic. If you're not familiar with the New Day, it's uh, three wrestlers in the WWE who individually are all uh, incredible athletes, but together as a team, they're one of the greatest, I would say, one of the the greatest modern tag teams in, in recent history, but probably one of the greatest tag teams anyway in wrestling. So you get you get kind of this dramatized story of them uh, before they were wrestlers, and then how they got into the business, 
and then kind of their failures as, as singles wrestlers, and then uh, we get to see how they come together and became the new name. And uh, it's a lot of fun. There's also a, a, a fun thing. There's a the Shield. It's a, it's a wrestling team. One of their members is on bad terms with the WWE, and as such, you never see his face in this comic. So that's that's pretty funny to me. But uh, but you know who it is if you watch wrestling. Anymore. And yeah, this is pretty fun. Um, yeah, the wrestling comics are always pretty cool. And this is this is not disappointing. Now the last thing we're gonna talk about is X Men number one. Let's have a spread cover right here. Uh, so this takes place after the events of the Hellfire Gala that's been going on last month in all the X-Men books. So this is technically X-Men number 22. Or number one, however you want to look at it, he has a new writer. Uh, but yeah, we get to see the new team in action. Great art. Uh, a lot of cool things going on here. Uh, they even make, there's like this, this alien that comes down and is, uh, projecting a psychic attack on New York. The X-Men go like a mech. And, uh, and they, they fight the thing, and they have a they have a okay time doing it. But it's kind of like they're they're welcome back to New York because they have not been in New York for the past you know year or two. They've been on their own island. So this is really cool. If we're gonna get one Marvel thing this week, it should be this X Men comic right here. But that shouldn't stop you. You should get more comics in general. But anyway, that's uh that's it. Thanks for watching.